Welcome back. Today we're going to look at how to solve the final layer of a Rubik's Cube. By this time, you should already have two layers of the Rubik's Cube complete. If you do not, please do not watch this video and please go back and watch my other two videos showing you how to solve the final, these two layers of the Rubik's Cube. So, with that said, we're going to now solve the top layer. To solve the top layer is like solving the bottom layer. First of all, we have to make a blue cross, but we don't have to match up these edge pieces to the center of the counterpart, which kind of makes it a bit easier. So you will have three cases with this. There are no parity errors, which you can find on a 4x4, in a 3x3. So to solve this, you will have three cases. First case, you will have a center piece with no other edge piece surrounding it. Second case, you will have an L shape. Third case, you will have a T a straight line. Those are the only three cases you will get. You may get the cross straight away, but that is a very one in a million chance. So with any of them, you need to perform this algorithm. So if it was just a centerpiece, find any blank edge and form it. If it's a T-shape, make sure the blank edge to the right of the face you're using. So you have to pick a blank edge and make sure you have a blank edge to the right of it. Next, if you have a straight shape, just find any one of these blank edges. So I've got an L shape. So here we go, form this algorithm. Make sure you have the blank face in front of you and a blank face to your right. Front face, clockwise. Right face, clockwise. Top face, clockwise. Right face, anti-clockwise. Top face, anti-clockwise. And front face, anti-clockwise. Note we have created a line. This is how it's going to work. If you start with a centerpiece, you'll end up with an L shape. Then from the L shape, you end up with a line. And from the line, you will end up with the cross. So if you have this, just find any edge. I'm already at this edge, so I'll choose it. So pull the algorithm again. Front face, clockwise. Right face, clockwise. Top face, clockwise. Right face, anti-clockwise. Top face, anti-clockwise. And front face, anti-clockwise. Note we have our cross. Ignoring these center pieces, they don't, these two pieces, corner pieces, they don't matter. We have our cross. Now, to solve the final part of the cross, you need to match up one of these, piece, these edge pieces with the center counterpart. Note, only one can be matched. If more than one are matched, this algorithm will not solve the cent other center pieces. So, if I look around the cube, I find that yellow is closest to its center counterpart. If I move it to its and the counterpart, I note that no other centerpiece is matched. So that way, this algorithm I'm going to perform will work. So here we go. Hold the face that you matched up in front of you and form this basic algorithm, which we'll show about here. Right face clockwise, top face clockwise, right face anti clockwise, top face clockwise, right face clockwise, and top face clockwise 180 degrees. Now, if you've performed it, you can perform it once, twice, three, maybe four times. But as I've done it once, I know that all my centerpieces are now together. Finally, we have to make sure that our corner pieces are in place. Not that they're in the proper orientation, but that they're in their correct location. So I go around the cube and find one that is in its place. Now I can't, so I pick a random one. Okay? So if you have none of them in the place, just pick a random one and perform this algorithm. Uh, hold it in front of you with the corner piece you've chosen to the right. Left face clockwise, right face clockwise, top face clockwise, right face anti-clockwise, top face anti-clockwise, left face clockwise, top face clockwise, right face clockwise, top face anti-clockwise, right face clockwise. Now, this won't solve it instantly, but it has put me a corner piece in its right position. If I is orientated properly, that doesn't bother me. So now hold it to the right of the face. So hold the face in front of you with the corner piece to your right. Form the algorithm again. Left face, anti-clockwise. Right face, clockwise. Top face, clockwise. Right face, anti-clockwise. Top face, anti-clockwise. Left face, clockwise, top face clockwise, right face clockwise, and top face and 
uh, anti-clockwise and right face anti-clockwise. Now that I'm the cube, it solved this one and obviously kept it in the same location. Put this in its right place and put this in its right place. So now find an unmatched, an unorientated pair, uh, a corner that's not orientated properly, and then form this algorithm. So my phone is ringing, but I'm not going to answer it because I know it's not even important. So uh, let's wait for the phone to stop ringing because then it will just annoy. There we go. Now hold the corner piece to the right. Right face, anti-clockwise. Bottom face, anti-clockwise. Right face, clockwise. Bottom face, clockwise. Note, this is exactly the same algorithm we use to solve these green corner pieces. So now I've said it once, I'm not going to re-reference it again. To perform that algorithm, now, you must turn this back once this is in place and make sure not to turn the cube, make sure to just turn the top face and form the same algorithm yet again. Sorry for the camera shaking, but again it's on the table. Note, we have now solved a Rubik's Cube. Thank you for watching and join us next time to solve a 4